Hello and welcome to graphing linear systems or systems of linear equations. Today we're going to be graphing and finding the solution of the linear systems of equations with 2x plus y is equal to a negative 7 and 3x minus y being equal to 8. Again, remember, in systems of equations what we have is we're going to graph two lines and the three possible cases that we have are the two lines intersect at some point which results in one solution. We can have a system of equations that appears as simply one line which has infinite infinitely many solutions or we can have parallel lines where the lines will never cross and therefore we have a no solution set. Graphing systems of linear equations such as 2x minus 3y equals 1 and x plus y equals 3 simply requires us for us simply requires us to graph both of these lines to see what of which one of the three conditions will be happening. Either we're going to have intersecting lines, parallel lines, or one in the same line. And the one in the same line has infinitely many solutions. Parallel lines, we remember, have zero solutions. And a set of equations that have intersecting lines have one and exactly one solution. To approach our problem here, 2x minus 3y is equal to 1. I'm going to graph this in green to differentiate it. So the first thing that I'm going to do is approach this as finding a from standard form into the slope-intercept form. So I'm going to rewrite the 2x minus 3y is equal to 1 as a negative 3y being equal to a negative 2 times x plus 1, which is the result of subtracting 2x from each side, now dividing each side by a negative 3. Negative 3 cancel out, and I find myself the equation y is equal to a positive 2 thirds, because of the negative 2 divided by the negative 3 times x, plus 1 divided by a negative 3, or negative 1 third. Quickly graphing this, I know that my y-intercept is going to be at a negative 1 third, which I will mark here. And I know that I have a slope of 2 thirds, which means that I rise 2 for every 3 that I run. So going up 2, here's up 1 and up 2. Over 3 from where I am, I go to 1 two, three, and I have this point here. Connecting those two points that I have to give me a quick graph of a line, set my straight edge down and simply copy that line through these two points, and there we are. Halfway home. Now, graphing in blue, my second equation, x plus y is equal to positive 3. I'm going to subtract x from both sides to get it into slope-intercept form. And so I find myself with y is equal to the opposite of x plus positive 3, which means that I have a y-intercept at positive 3 and a slope of negative 1. So as I move 1 to the right, I move 1 down and connecting those two points I find myself running there's a point running in a line like so I do have an intersection which will be my solution and looking at this point it's at a positive 1, 2 and a positive 1 on my graph so I have the location 2, 1 as a, pos as a possible solution. The way we check 
whether 2, 1 is a solution or not, is to substitute it back into our original equations. And we see that 2 times my x coordinate of 2 minus 3 times 1 is supposed to be equal to 1. And 4 minus 3 is indeed equal to 1. So the first system checks. In the second equation, we're simply checking if 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, and indeed 3 is equal to 3, and 2, 1 is our solution.